here is a thinking problem for you. If limit of f of x over x where x approaches 0 is equal to 1 and limit of g of x over x where x approaches 0 is 2 then evaluate each limit a limit of g of x as x approaches 0 and b is limit of f of x divided by g of x as x approaches 0. Think and answer the question. You can stop the video meanwhile and then look into my solution. Okay, so let's consider the function. We need g of x when x approaches 0. So let's consider the function limit of g of x over x as x approaches 0. Now if x approaches 0 then the denominator in 0 will be 0 and this term will be undefined. Now we are given a limit of this function as 2. Limit of this function as 2 is possible only if only if there is a factor of x in g of x also. Correct? That means g of x is x times h of x. Only then this limit of 2 is possible. Right? So therefore we can say that g of x has x in it and if you want to know what is the limit of g of x as x approaches 0 it should be 0 because there is x the factor x is in g of x. So when you put substitute x equals to 0 you will get 0 right since g of x can be written as x times some other function let it be h of x do you understand so that is why the limit of this function when x approaches 0 will be 0 times anything else which is going to be 0 right so that is the reason and the answer for this is 0 now let's do part b now here we're trying to find limit of the function f of x over g of x. Now we know one thing that limit of function f of x over x is 1 and limit of function g of x over x is 2. Now from the properties of the limit we can say we can find limit of f of x over x when x approaches 0 divided by limit of g of x over x when x approaches 0. What should this be? Now limit of this function is 1 and limit of this function is 2. So this is equals to 1 over 2. Correct? Now as you can see limit of this function is limit of f of x. We can write this as limit of f of x when x approaches 0 divided by limit of x as x approaches 0 right and the denominator we can write this as limit of g of x when x approaches 0 divided by limit of x when x approaches 0 now clearly from here we can divide these two they factor out and we are left with limit of f of x over limit of g of x which should be equal to half and therefore our answer for this is half correct so that is how we are going to solve these questions thank you